Welcome everyone to this video session where we are going to discuss about the top 10 life science universities in the world. Let's all discuss the degree and subjects which are available. The first in the list, Harvard University, US. Like most colleges and universities in the US and UK, undergraduates who study at Harvard University do not need to take hasty decisions with regard to their majors. They have the opportunity to take and try on various courses before they are required to declare a major subject. So in terms of life sciences, Harvard University offers many interdisciplinary foundational courses that are grouped together in total nine concentrations. Yes, they call it as the concentrations. These are the different subjects. This is done to help the students that is explore the diversity of living systems. When it comes to choosing one particular major, they have the following options like uh, biomedical engineering or neurobiology or even evolutionary biology. So yeah, it is best known university, great reputation and offers many interdisciplinary courses that are grouped together in concentrations which are nothing but the fields of study. Students interested in life science typically start with a set of interdisciplinary foundation courses initially. Later, they get to choose their majors. Furthermore, a number of these courses are hands-on and life science students are encouraged to conduct their own research and also come up with an original. According to the university, most of the life science graduates decide to indulge in postgraduate work, which includes medical or scientific research. Other graduates, on the other hand, pursued careers in business or consulting and environmental advocacy. Howard University has been one of the universities around the world with a great reputation. In fact, it is the best known university, regularly taking the top spot in global reputation surveys conducted by several agencies and organizations. It has been around for more than 300 years, having been founded in 1636. Quite bluntly, the tuition fee at Harvard University is undeniably expensive. However, there are several university grants that provide students from low-income families with equal opportunity to be schooled in this prestigious institution. So what are the degrees that what are the degrees that are available over there? Yes, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Harvard Graduate School of Arts and Sciences. You can apply for that in several different subjects like bioinformatics and integrative genetics, biologic and biomedical sciences, biological sciences in public health, biophysics, chemical biology, chemistry and chemical biology, immunology, molecular and cell biology, neuroscience. Organismic and Evolutionary Biology, Speech and Hearings, Bioscience and Technology, System Synthetic and Quantitative Biology, and Virology. So, as I mentioned, the students, they can get opportunities to conduct graduate study for the PhD degree in a range of these areas which are related to whatever is mentioned over here and into detailed depth of all these subjects. Next degree that they also conduct is Master of Science. It's also available over there in Biotechnology Life Sciences. As I mentioned, Graduate School of Art and Science, they have partnered with Harvard Business School and the Harvard Department of Stem Cell and Regenerative Biology to offer an MS MBA program in Biotechnology Life Sciences. The Master of Science degree is only offered through this joint program and it doesn't come in a standalone degree as such. Next in line is University of Cambridge, UK. Yes, another prestigious school in the UK is the University of Cambridge. It is also one of the oldest universities that follow a collegiate system. Now, like Harvard, its School of Biological Sciences, they also have nine departments and with a number of research centers, including Department of Biochemistry, Pharmacology and Zoology. So to add to these nine departments, these are the nine departments. The University of Cambridge also has a graduate school of life sciences, which offers master's degree as well as PhD doctorate programs. So of all these undergraduate programs, a student can major in three. That is biological sciences as a natural science specialization, a preclinical veterinary science program and a psychological and behavioral science program. There is a tutorial system in this university making teachers work closely with their students. Furthermore, the students also become automatic members of their college community, giving them the freedom to eat meals, live in college-owned buildings and even attend recreational activities. 
by the way charles darwin was an alumnus of christ college in cambridge alongside many other prominent biologists so what is there in the undergraduate study the natural science course also known as natural science tripos nst it is the framework in which most of the physical chemical and biological sciences are taught at cambridge this cross disciplinary course allows students to experience a range of science subjects in their first and second years including cell biology pathology and genetics through to conservation plant sciences and physics so it offers a range of undergraduate courses covering more than 65 different subject areas including biology and the biological uh, sciences so natural sciences physiological behavior and behavioral sciences veterinary medicine and even medicine the flexibility and breadth of learning which is offered in first and second year of the natural sciences course it provides an excellent foundation for specialization of topic area in the third year which is based on the students own interests so there is also the post graduate school of life sciences in university of cambridge so details of the masters and phd opportunities on in in this particular biological sciences there are what is available you can find it in the uh, university of cambridge pg admission website and uh, also there is a online course directory so there the uh, the whatever courses you want to apply for in that online course directory it is easily searchable and in addition pg applicants can also search for funding via the university's funding portal there is a funding portal and all the potential postgraduate supervisors and their areas of expertise they are also available they can be accessed through the pg school of life science website The School of Biological Sciences offers postgraduate students the opportunity to work with world leading scientists to expand the knowledge and understanding across all aspects of biology. So there are many departments where research is going on for the postgraduate studies and whatever is your interest accordingly you can apply for it. Even there is a MPhil in biological sciences by advanced study at the heart of this new program is a commitment to give more students the opportunity to work uh, to experience the ex excitement of scientific research in one of the world's leading research universities so the aim is to bring together motivated students with different lived experiences which will bridge the gap between less research intensive undergraduate degrees and further postgraduate education a year of in depth research study in a supportive environment combines more specialized teaching with professional skills training at the end of the masters course students will be fully equipped with a wide range of careers including advanced research in industry or to apply to any competitive doctoral program as well so they offer full time program offering the students the opportunity to undertake a period of study and lab based research in an area of scientific importance and interest that will include biomolecular science cell science crop science developmental biology infection and molecular immunology reproduction and embryogenesis going over to the next institute that is massachusetts institute of technology us that is mit yes it's the leader um, of in interdisciplinary life science research and education it might be an institute of technology initially but you'll be surprised to know that MIT offer courses on life science topics for them this is a way to contribute towards either a major or a minor degree subject these courses they range from uh, there are multiple departments who offer major and minors that have the life science focus and these courses range from biological engineering a pioneering new discipline that combines principles of engineering and biological systems to science technology and society which offers a more comprehensive overview of life sciences and its application admissions are very selective with only 8% of applications winning a spot the school will accept both undergraduate and postgraduate for life science degrees with further study in health sciences or engineering as the most common post graduation option 
to add a number of life science graduates also embark on to medical school while others pursue careers in finance intellectual property law and forensics mit has been known to have an excellent reputation in all their science and technology disciplines so that's why it has the admissions are very selective more than 80 affiliates of the university have won nobel prizes and many more have achieved recognition through other awards as well so the life science programs offered uh, in these are biological engineering biology biophysics graduate certificate program brain and cognitive sciences chemical engineering chemistry computational systems biology microbiology physics and others so you can opt for any of them which is of your interest and field of work some of the courses offered under biology you have genetics for graduate molecular biology both undergraduate and graduate cell biology structure and functions of the nucleus again undergraduate and graduate both genetic neurobiology for graduates cell and molecular neurobiology again for graduates development and neurobiology for graduates developmental biology for both undergraduate and graduate systems biology again for both undergraduate and graduate so mit biology graduate program teaches students the intellectual research and communication skills which are essential for a career as an independent scientist the first year is structured for students with diverse academic and research experiences providing them with a deep foundation in the principles and experimental approaches which are used in modern biology research through a combination of classes and lab rotations subsequently students pursue research projects in one of more than 60 labs which are headed by world renowned scientists the next university is university of oxford the biology degree is taught by the department of biology the molecular structure of the oxford biology course encourages a cross disciplinary approach so as a taught graduate one can choose subject area at an advanced level usually which will lead to a masters or masters level qualification so what are the courses which are related to the biological sciences biology biochemistry molecular and cellular human sciences biomedical engineering and also in the field of medicine so what are the types of courses that are taught at oxford one is masters of philosophy of philosophy mphil master of studies mst master of science msc which will be by coursework even other masters level degrees are available like bcl bphil emba mba you can check the details at their web on their website post graduate diploma and even post graduation certificate and what are the type of research courses which are available so you have the doctor of philosophy dphil doctoral training programs master of science by research and also you have combined master of science and doctor of philosophy going over to the next university which is princeton princeton university in the us it follows a liberal arts curriculum with students opting to study either a bachelor or arts or a bachelor of science degree students can choose to study across a range of the subjects and declare their major in the first or second year similar to what happens at harvard undergraduate programs within the life science discipline available at princeton it includes molecular biology ecology evolutionary biology and even environmental studies so as a post graduate level students can choose to undertake research in a range of subjects that will include molecular biology and cellular biochemistry next in line is california institute of technology us caltech which is called as caltech in short so undergraduate option in biology is designed to build on a solid foundation in mathematics and physical science by providing an introduction to the basic facts concept problems and methodologies of biological science graduate students in biology come with very diverse undergraduate preparation like majors in physics chemistry mathematics or psychology as well as in biology and its various branches the aims of the graduate program is to provide for each student individual depth of experience and competence in a particular chosen major specialty perception of the nature and logic of biology as a whole sufficient strength in basic science to allow continued self education after formal training has been completed and thus to keep in the forefront of changing fields and also the motivation to serve his or her field productively through a long career 
So in accordance with this aims, the graduate study program in biology includes the following part. One is the major program, which is to provide the student with early and intense original research experience in a self-selected subject of biology, which is supplemented with advanced coursework and independent study in the subject. And the next thing is program of coursework which is designed to provide well-rounded and integrated training in biology and the appropriate basic sciences which is adjusted to special interests and needs. So what are the major subjects of specialization? A student may pursue major work leading to doctoral degree in any of these following subjects that is biophysics, cellular biology, developmental biology, genetics, immunology, microbiology, molecular biology, biochemistry, systems biology, etc. Even neurobiology is there that is for research, computational biology also for research, stem cell biology for research and evolutionary biology for research. At graduation, a student may choose whether the degree is to be awarded in biology or in the selected major subject. Students who choose to work in neurobiology may also qualify for a PhD in biology but will be encouraged to enroll in the neurobiology option. And there are some faculty and laboratories in the biology research area and affiliated programs at Caltech provide op outstanding opportunities to carry out creative and innovative work in fundamental, translational and applied research across a broad spectrum of life sciences. The next university well known one is Stanford in US. Located in the heart of Silicon Valley, Stanford University was founded in 1885 and has one of the largest college campuses in the US. And it has over 18 interdisciplinary research institutes and 7 schools on a single site. So Stanford curriculum offers considerable flexibility through its liberal art approach. All undergraduate students are required to take classes in writing, ways of thinking and a foreign language alongside a major or joint major. Within this structure, one can take courses across a range of life science disciplines including uh, kinesiology, marine biology, human biology, physiology, ecology and many more. Life science and health concentration covers topics such as genetics, biotechnology, bioethics, medical ethics, mental and physical illness, public health, patients rights etc. So, uh, the undergraduate students pursuing a biology major are encouraged to undertake research either by working in a research lab on campus or taking part in the biology summer program, undergraduate research summer program. So the major begins with a variety of introductory courses related to the related to different fields of biology. Students will begin taking these courses, exploratory lab courses and a selection of additional breadth courses in chemistry, maths, physics and statistics during the first two years. Advanced elective courses will be taken in the remaining two years. The core terminal master's program is designed for undergraduates who want to participate in graduate level programs and refine their research skills. Stanford University is also home to many research institutes in life sciences, including BioX, a pioneering interdisciplinary bioscience research center, then the Baxter Laboratory in Stem Cell Biology and the Stanford Woods Institute for the Environment. The concentration covers all these topics as I mentioned genetics, biotechnology, bioethics, medical ethics, mental and physical illness, public health, patients rights, body uh, politics and various other domains in which new knowledge and technologies produce and are produced by societal phenomena. So which are the fields of study? Stanford University boasts not only of its large and beautiful campus but also of its reputation as one of the best universities in the world. No wonder it became the top spot and a popular destination of the US and international students. Of the more than 15,000 students, more than 20% are international and close to 90% of undergraduates they actually live on campus, especially since all first years are required to live on campus. The schools have created a name for itself and has been renowned for its science and innovation. To add, university researchers, students and alumni, they all play a vital role in the school. 
They significantly contribute to technological development in Silicon Valley, located right near the university. Stanford's Department of Biology leads the way for life science research, while the bioengineering department creates a fusion of engineering and life science by inventing new technologies. So the following are some of the courses which are offered by the biology department, biochemistry, biophysics, computational biology, conservation biology, ecology and evolution, marine biology, microbes and immunity, molecular cellular and developmental biology and neurobiology. These are many, this will have many other sub-disciplines. Stanford alumni have been published internationally and they have also won prestigious award including Nobel Prize, Rhodes Scholarship and Turing Awards as well. The next university is Yale University, US. So it will offer four biological science majors, ecology and evolutionary biology which is ENEB, molecular biophysics and biochemistry BB, MBNB, molecular cell and developmental biology MCDB and neuroscience that is NS. Uh, CI. Yale combined program in the biological and biomedical sciences is the admission gateway to the PhD in almost all bioscience disciplines at Yale. Upon admission, students spend their first year of training with the BBS, biological and biomedical sciences before entering a degree granting program in their second year. So BBS and the affiliated PhD programs are part of the Yale Graduate School of Arts and Sciences. Although BBS students and faculty span the entire university campus, including the Yale School of Medicine. Students in the BBS program, they are also eligible for PhDs from many programs like cell biology, cell, cellular and molecular physiology, computational biology and bioinformatics, experimental pathology, genetics, immunobiology, interdepartmental neuroscience program, microbiology, molecular biophysics and biochemistry, molecular cellular and developmental biology, pharmacology and also translational biomedicine. So which are the departments and programs? As I mentioned, you have biological sciences, health and medicine. So these are the subjects in which you can work on the different labs and in biological sciences, you have cell biology, computational ecology, forestry, microbiology, as well as molecular cellular and developmental biology. So as you can see, there are many uh, courses and many departments according to your interest, you can apply. The next very popular one, yes, the CRISPR one, University of California, Berkeley, where Dr. Jennifer Doudna had uh, done the research. UC Berkeley's Division of Biological Sciences generates profound shifts in our understanding of the function and behavior of living organisms. New insights many discovered in these laboratories, they fuel the widely accepted belief that the life science from the defining research enterprise of the 21st century. With about 112 full-time faculty in two departments, the undergraduates and graduate students learn from and work with some of the world's leading scientific minds, deciphering interplay of living systems from the intracellular to the ecosystemic of the plant tree. General biology is one of the majors in biological and biomedical science programs. Undergraduate degree, you get majors and minors both and graduate degrees, doctorates are available, masters and even joint program is also available. So what are the area of uh, study in life sciences? Bioengineering degree is uh, M engineering, bioengineering joint degree with UCSF degrees are joint PhD, comparative biochemistry, the degree available is PhD. Endocrinology degree available is PhD and MA both. Epidemiology PhD and MS these are degrees available. Health and medical sciences medical program joint program with UCSF degree available is MS. Health policy PhD degree. Infectious disease and immunity PhD degree. Metabolic biology PhD and MS. Microbiology PhD degree. Molecular and cell biology PhD degree. Molecular Toxicity PhD degree. The next one is John Hopkins University US. Uh, 
The Department of Biology offers a broad program of undergraduate, graduate and postgraduate degree in the biological sciences. So biology department offers a BS degree here in molecular and cellular biology. The BS program is designed to provide a rigorous preparation for advanced study in the biomedical sciences. The program is tailored not only to students planning to enter PhD program or obtain employment in the biotechnology industry, but also for pre-medical students. Included among the areas in which instruction and research opportunities are available are biochemistry and biophysics, cell biology, molecular biology, microbiology, developmental biology, genetics, neuroscience and immunology as well. The biology degree department offers two degree options for undergraduate students that is a bachelor of arts degree for biology majors and a bachelor of science degree for molecular and cellular biology majors. So, Understanding all these institution choices, you have to make your decision wisely, do your research well, go to their websites, gather all the necessary informations, check whatever funding you are having and then you can choose your top three and start the application. All the best everyone. Thank you.